Well, every year, 120 women die from breast cancer here in Hawaii. It is a horrible disease that can destroy families and leaves many loved ones struggling to pick up the pieces. Steve Uehara caught up with one man trying to make things work. Ready, Case, hold back. Go! Getting better, getting better. The baseball field is a sanctuary for Sonny Tabula as he coaches his seven-year-old son Casey's team. Good hustle, Reagan. Let's go. The more active they get, the less they kind of think about it because when they're idle, they're not doing nothing, then they think. Uh... What Casey and his brother Chan start to think about are memories of their mom, Carol Laumilo. Carol died last December after a six-year fight with breast cancer. She left behind the boys and a daughter from a previous relationship. Sonny checks in on her every week, but his main concern right now is Chance, who's just five years old. Uh, just lately, he's been asking the question, oh, when she coming back? How are you supposed to answer that? This month, Sonny and Carol would have celebrated 11 years. Well, this one was when we made, I think we made six years together. We went to Romano's. Go! Hey! Carol's cancer initially showed up right after Casey was born. It went away and a couple years later she got pregnant again. The name Chance fit perfectly because they seemed to have a brand new start. But three months later, the cancer was back. It was like on a roller coaster, we get good news, then we get bad news. The cancer was aggressive and it spread to her uterus and eventually her brain. After she died, Sonny and the boys moved in with his family. This is her urn right here. Come December, they plan to lay Carol to rest next to her mom. The boys wrote Mother's Day cards to her and even have pillows with family pictures sewn into them. As for dad... I dedicate my whole sleeve to her. I get her, her Japanese, he got Samoan band on her because she was Japanese Samoan. I get her favorite flowers, her plumerias, just adding on more koi and whatnot to keep it oriental. And this is my youngest son, Chance's name, his Japanese name, Akio. And as Sonny continues to flip through pictures and remember the good times, he also recalls one thing he never got to do. We were planning to get married before our son was born, our oldest son, and then she got pregnant, we pushed the wedding back. Then she had cancer, pushed the wedding back. Then she beat him, she got pregnant, pushed the wedding back. Then cancer again, pushed the wedding back. But for now, his focus is on the present and what he has to do to keep his family together. Work, coaching, anything his boys need. Because while the pain and loss that he feels are not his alone, the responsibility going forward is. Steve Uihara, Hawaii News Now. And tomorrow is the Making Strides Walk Against Breast Cancer. The five-mile walk starts at Richardson Field with 8 at 8 a.m. with registration at 7. We also have this information for you on our website, hawaiinewsnow.com. And so far, Sean, mm -hmm. I guess a lot of people have signed up and they'll be joining us tomorrow, early tomorrow morning, That's right? That's right. Billy V will be yeah. there. Um, Lena also, girl. Lena Girl. Mm -hmm. I mean, it'll be, mm -hmm. um, you know, a real upbeat event. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of progress, of course, has been made in the fight against cancer, including mm -hmm. breast cancer, but so much more work needs to be done. So... Tomorrow yeah. we'll have a good time and really yeah. celebrate the strides that have been made so far. Come join us too. Yep.